Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is Tech Dive TV Review Monday. Now today, we're going to review the newly released Rabbit TV. Now, you know that there's a little dongle that you could get with Rabbit TV, either on the TV or at like Bed Bath & Beyond or other stores that sell uh, as seen on TV items. But Rabbit TV has actually changed. You no longer need the little USB dongle you can actually do Rabbit TV with just your laptop, tablet, or cell phone. Um, I'm going to go through it today. And if you would like a 30-day free trial of the new Rabbit TV, all you have to do is send me an email at techdivetv at gmail.com. And I'll have a link at the bottom of the blog as well if you forget that email address. I can set you up with a 30-day free trial of Rabbit TV thanks to Rabbit TV. But here's the review of the brand new Rabbit TV without the dongle. Take a look. Now, to get to Rabbit TV, all you have to do is go to www.rabbittvgo.com. And when you get there, all you have to do is sign in with your Rabbit TV ID. What? You don't have a Rabbit TV ID? Well, we can set you up with one for free for 30 days. Um, just send us an email. I'll give a link at the end of this video. Now this is the interface for Rabbit TV. You have to go ahead and log in, so I'll click on login. I'll enter my user ID and password, and it'll take me to the main Rabbit TV screen. Now, the interface for Rabbit TV is much like you find with like Hulu Plus or Netflix. So this is the main Rabbit TV screen. It'll automatically take you to a live channel and start a video for you of what's playing currently on the last channel you selected. Here's a video playing for a court show. Now let's go into networks, TV networks. What networks do I have available to me here on the new Rabbit TV online? Look, there's a myriad of networks available. Now, these networks work as an on-demand as opposed to live TV. So you pick the shows you want to watch once you get to the network of your choice. Let's go ahead and look now at movies. This is popular movies we're going to pick. Some popular movies that are available currently on Rabbit TV. Now these selections change um, every once in a while, so you can you know, get different movies from time to time. Now look, there's quite a few different movies you have to choose from, and these are all free movies. You don't have to pay anything extra. Now let's go ahead and look at live TV. You can actually have live channels. There aren't a lot of them, but they are, they are available to you. There's different categories you can choose of live TV, and you can watch what's being broadcast currently on these few channels. There's also the availability of music. Um, one of the choices under the music choice is radio. So let's go ahead and go over to the music section, go to radio, and there are 5,000 radio stations available to you on Rabbit TV. So if you like a, a certain station, chances are you'll be able to find something like it or maybe the station itself here so you can listen either on your phone, on your tablet, or on your computer. Now let's go over to games. Rabbit TV has a number of games available to you. These are the ones that are based on television shows which I found to be rather interesting, that you can get games based on some of your favorite TV shows. There's also a wide range of kids programming that you can get to directly from Rabbit TV. It's nice that they've uh, curated the kids' television as a separate tab so you can get to your kids' shows very easily. Now, there's also the ability to use pay-per-view, meaning you want to watch a movie that you get the rent, or you want to watch a sh series show that you want to rent, you can do that as well, much like you would do with Apple TV or Voodoo Video or something of that nature. There are a number of selections that, again, also change periodically, so you can get a number of video choices for your movies or your series. You can do movies. You could also do TV series like this. So there's a number of TV series that you may want to look at that are on, like, you can rent an episode or buy episodes. So this is the new Rabbit TV. 
let's go ahead and take a look at the video. So let's go ahead and pick a show. We'll go back over to the TV shows and we'll go to the popular shows and pick a show. Let's see, we have a number of choices available to us. Let's go ahead and pick, oh, I don't know. Let's pick, uh, oh, NCIS. Let's pick NCIS, I like that show. Let's see, we're gonna just start it up. It, will, it has a, a way to watch it for free or buy or rent, but we're gonna watch the quality of the video. We're currently gonna watch just the starting commercial. Um, no sound in this particular case because you don't really want to listen to a commercial. But you'll notice this is a Chevy commercial, but it plays quite nicely. I mean, you can do it full screen, so you can watch these videos without having to put them in a window. You can actually watch them full screen on your laptop, tablet, smartphone. Now remember, on the smartphone and the tablet, it must be able to support Flash, but they'll point you to a correct browser that will support Flash for you on your devices. If you don't have it, you can download it for free. Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is Tech Dive TV Review Monday. Now today, we're going to review the newly released Rabbit TV. Now, you know that there's a little dongle that you could get with Rabbit TV, either on the TV or at like Bed Bath & Beyond or other stores that sell uh, as seen on TV items. But Rabbit TV has actually changed. You no longer need the little USB dongle. You can actually do Rabbit TV with just your laptop, tablet, or cell phone. Um, I'm going to go through it today. And if you would like a 30-day free trial of the new Rabbit TV, all you have to do is send me an email at techdivetv at gmail.com. And I'll have a link at the bottom of the blog as well if you forget that email address. I can set you up with a 30-day free trial of Rabbit TV thanks to Rabbit TV. But here's the review of the brand new Rabbit TV without the dongle. Take a look. <laughs> 